You will notice it's Monday, uh, 3 p.m. Uh, UK time, and already on top left here we're on OBS Studio 15.4, which is the second update today. I think it was just a bug fix for something. So, what I'm looking at on this one is the brilliant, brilliant edition of Lock Preview, and I'll tell you what that does. Now, on the left hand side, we've got myself, which is the webcam, and if I turn that off, of course, um, I highlight it, and before I turn it off, you can see that there is the green and red uh, boxes around the outside. Similar is with the yellow slide, the blue slide and the text slide. Now if you're like me you could be messing around here and before you know it you can start click and you're dragging and it gets a terrible mess. So what you can do here immediately by using the lock preview is to edit lock the preview and you'll notice that wherever you start clicking around you cannot change any components of that scene and that is really useful because when you are broadcasting or recording there's a pretty good chance that you are thinking about many things at the same time so when you go to hit that transition button and that scene becomes live you want to make sure that what you send is good and that is pretty much it so all you do is go back and if you like and turn off the lock preview and you'll see that there is a red mark around the outside similarly if we go back and we want to get this uh, through again I could change this around let's say if I wanted to move around and say I bring this one to the top and this one to the bottom and I could do this while I'm actually quite honestly doing a session here let's just I'll tell you what, let's leave it like that and then that's fine if you wanted to transition that it will move but you'll notice that you are very much getting into bother the moment you hit lock preview it becomes one scene it almost like glues it down that was it for this video see you in the next one subscribe to receive updates <laughs>